Why am I not buying businesses right now? Why am I not practicing what I preach on my channel? I tell you how you can buy a business. Average age of an owner is 50 years old. How there's a massive opportunity, but yet I am not doing it. Why am I pausing my acquisition spree right now? I'm gonna tell you this uh, because every situation is different. And I'm gonna tell you the two types of businesses you should really be, or business approaches you should be taking. And the first approach is you are either in the business of growing and scaling your business, or you are in the business of buying businesses that are connected to your business. And let me explain this. Right now in my business, we are growing so quickly, we're scaling, we're having to hire people, we're expanding into different states. We, and, and it's just managing that all right now and scaling that is a far better opportunity for us in the situation that we're in than to go buy businesses that are in our business right now. And there's kind of two or three different reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is if you focus on sourcing deals, finding businesses to buy, you are taking focus away from your business. And this is what a lot of people don't talk about is that if you spend time and energy somewhere else, you are not spending that time and energy on your own business, okay? So there's a thing called spreading yourself too thin and you can spread yourself too thin and you can really miss out on opportunities because you're distracted over here when you should be really focused over here. So what we're trying to do, me and my wife, and our we own an insurance agency. The first year into our insurance agency, we bought another insurance agency, looped it under our company, and we said, this is great, this is going great for us, let's go buy more insurance agencies. Well, what happened in the insurance market is rates started going up, and uh, insurance companies started getting a little bit scared because of all the losses that were taken on, and we started growing rapidly. In the last year, we've been growing so much, almost doubled our business. So right now, we are working on scaling that. And buying another business would actually probably hurt our business because we don't have the manpower to then put that under our umbrella. We don't have the manpower to go hire people, put in systems in place while also controlling the growth of our company. So you have to be strategic with how you want to expand. So your company should be set up for one or two different ways. You scaling organically, growing your business, um, really focusing on hiring, controlling your growth, and growing quickly. But if you were to throw in an acquisition in that, that could toss everything to the side and then your quality of your service. Like we, we really pride ourselves on being able to pick up the phone, being able to get to things, being able to provide people their renewals for insurance and all this stuff for business insurance and being able to facilitate quotes very quickly. Well, we can't do that if we go buy an agency the same size of ours or even smaller than ours because we're working on trying to transition that book of business. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you own a business now, or if you're going to start a business, make sure that you understand what am I gonna do? What type of business do I wanna do? If you're going to start a pool service company, or you bought a pool service company, are you going to focus on growing that pool service company, or are you going to do what I've, the video that I posted yesterday, are you going to go buy additional pool service companies using debt? Because there's a lot of different models that a lot of companies are only looking at it in one way. They only look at it, I'm gonna grow my business, I'm gonna work here, I'm not looking at anything else, and that may be a good model. That's the model we're in right now because it's working really well. But at some point when that kind of stagnates, when things start kind of evening off, your staff is back up, or training people right now, things are getting back to a manageable level, that's when you have to force yourself out of your comfort zone and say, let's add an acquisition. Let's add an acquisition so we're scrambling, the dust kind of settles, maybe we're growing more over here, we need to staff up over here, we will go buy somebody else, staff up, go buy somebody else, staff up, grow, grow, staff up, grow, buy somebody else. So it's a even, you, you, you can't do everything in one month. You can't go buy 10 businesses tomorrow because you wouldn't be set up and you're not gonna be successful in that. So you need to understand, okay, where what is the yin and yang of where I'm growing my business and that's what I'm going through right now is, hey, we're in a growth cycle. So let's stay in the growth cycle. When the growth cycle kind of eases off, let's go buy. But right now, if we bought and we grew, we would be way, way out of it. So, and another thing is you can't flirt with the acquisition place or with the acquisition space. You have to own it. And what that means is you can't go out once or twice a month and say, 
I'm going to call some insurance agencies or maybe you're in lawn care. I'm going to call some other lawn care companies or I'm going to look for lawn care companies for sale. You can't just flirt with that and say, okay, I'm going to go look once or once or twice a month. You, If you want to get, I'll tell you from my experience, we were looking for insurance agencies for sale every single day. We were calling people, having conversations, and we found a deal. But if you're not looking for that, you're not going to find that deal because it takes a lot of time and effort to go find and source an acquisition a company that you're gonna buy and then evaluate it and go, it takes a lot of manpower because you can't just find somebody and buy it tomorrow. You're gonna wanna evaluate it, you're gonna wanna say no, you're gonna wanna say no, 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 and then eventually you find one that you wanna buy. But you cannot flirt with that because that's a space that if you don't have, you're 100% focused on that on that buying a business, bringing somebody into your family, I call it, of your family of companies, if you're not 100% focused on that, you're gonna source a deal that you don't wanna do and it could derail your entire business. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you need to focus on one thing or the other so you can grow your business and be successful. And this is what we're going through. Um, we, we really enjoy buying businesses and I think it's a way to scale the business that we bought in our first year in our company, we're uh, three years in now, has continued to cash flow, continued to do really well for us. It it, um, it has cash flowed the loan. Our loan um, we are, have eventually paid off, and we paid it off early because we're not a huge fan of debt, and kind of debt goes against the value of your company. So from my perspective, uh, we did not want that. But you know, that's not something I don't want to do in the future. I think the nice thing about growing your company once your company's at a certain point we're more looking at acquisitions that are gonna fit us instead of us finding an acquisition that would pay us the most or that, that that's gonna be uh, something that we could buy tomorrow or, or something like that. We're gonna find somebody who, who can we culture-wise loop under our company? We're a virtual company, 100% virtual, so do I wanna buy a business that has an office and everybody coming to the office? That's gonna be hard to change that culture, so we're looking for more companies, hey, who would be a good fit for us? Who matches our culture? Who could easily be taken under our umbrella? Who is the employees at the company fitting our culture? Or how are they paying them? How is that working? How does that work for us? Asking those questions of more trying to find a matchmaking process for you as your company grows versus at the beginning, you're trying to adapt to that acquisition. Okay, well, I could see myself uh, managing a branch three hours away. Oh, I could see myself doing this. Oh, I could see myself do it. And it's, it, and it's no, you need to almost define what you really want. So when you find an acquisition that matches you, that's what makes sense. So just wanted to hop on here and share some thoughts about why I'm not buying a business and, uh, and just the reason why. You know, I don't think buying a business is for everybody, but I do think it's a way for you to build wealth. You are not going to build the wealth and have the money that you need unless you start or buy a business. So you need to commit to that and figure out the best one for you. If you wanna have a phone call with me, you can book a call from my channel page on my YouTube for a small fee, and we'd be happy to have a phone call with you and help you figure out your next business idea or how to scale your business. If you like today's video, please hit like and subscribe.